With the implementation of a 0 to 4 standards-based grading scale, some students and parents are concerned about earning 4s. We believe that all students should have access and opportunity to demonstrate a 4 in all classes. Let's review the grade scale to better understand levels of proficiency and how to earn a 4. The ECSD grade scale describes how students will be graded at all proficiency levels. A level 1 is beginning, in which students need teacher assistance to understand concepts and skills. Students may demonstrate a developing understanding in which proficiency in some simpler concepts and skills is demonstrated, but students are still working on others. A student who demonstrates proficiency of the grade level standard earns a 3. Finally, a 4 is earned when students can demonstrate proficiency of the grade level standard, as well as providing evidence of higher level thinking skills or are able to transfer and apply concepts and skills to different situations or contexts. Simply put, students will earn a 4 when they demonstrate, I can do this independently, I can teach this, I can apply this to a new or real world situation. For students with individual education plans or IEPs, independently includes the use of accommodations or modifications as listed in the student's learning plan. I get really excited when I start thinking about how students can achieve fours because I think about all the different ways students can can demonstrate a four through different projects, through different task design, and I get really excited when I get to work with teachers to design those because students can do so many different things in so many different ways that I want teachers to be able to see that and for students to experience those things as well. A four isn't about doing more assignments or more work. It's about applying your learning to additional contexts and higher order thinking. Standards-based grading and the zero to four scale focuses teachers and students on the learning. It emphasizes continual improvement through clear feedback and a culture of revision. This motivates students to be successful through a robust curriculum and high quality instruction. Students are able to take ownership of learning and demonstrate the knowledge they've obtained while teachers provide support and opportunity for them to demonstrate their learning. And I think many times it's just rethinking the ways in which we teach because we have to give the opportunities for somebody to demonstrate that they know. So demonstrating the four is, can we apply it into our real world? Can we take the knowledge that we've gained and assess and put it into other situations and simply not just repeat back what we may have read or what we may have been taught? And so it's the application. And I think that's the greatest part. That's where we want our students to be. This work is rooted in high expectations and academic success for all students, and a four is achievable to all students in all classes. There has been some rumor and misconception about fours not being possible, but that's simply not the case. A four is earned when the standard is met and deeper understanding is demonstrated. A first assessment of a new standard may not earn a four, and that's okay. It's part of the learning process. And we want students to continue to learn and strive for fours and mastery of content standards. Let's look at some examples of how students can achieve a four. In third grade, students are expected to be able to categorize parallelograms. An example of a level four task could be evaluating a student's misconception. For example, Susie miscategorized several parallelograms. Which parallelograms did she miscategorize and how can she fix her mistake? In middle school, students are expected to use social-cultural understanding to describe the author's theme or purpose. One way to show level 4 understanding could be to compare how a person from a different culture than the authors would interpret the theme or purpose of a narrative fiction. My go-to level 4 examples are What's misconception? Write a question about the skill. Connect the learning to yourself. Connect the learning to your community. And then finally, connect the learning to another content area. When students are concerned about not demonstrating a four, we encourage them to say, I haven't demonstrated a four yet. They will have multiple opportunities to earn a four throughout a unit of instruction. We will continue to work with students, teachers, families, and schools as they move through the stages of this grading shift. Our primary focus has always been and will continue to be to prepare our students to succeed at high levels now and in the next step of their journey.